Hello, everyone. Welcome to Everflow's webinar. Today's topic is reporting and analytics. My name is Cindy, and I'm part of the customer success team in Europe. Now, let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about the reporting and analytics uh, overview. And uh, uh, after that, I will quickly highlight uh, the e-commerce brand reporting and analytics. And at the end, if we have some time, we can go over some of the questions that you guys might have. This is the dashboard when you log into Everflow new UI. So let's click on uh, reporting. And in Everflow, we have uh, um, different types of reporting. So you can have uh, top level reporting, which such as uh, offer partner advisor, and you also have detailed reporting, such as uh, our hourly impression click conversion, and you also have other types of reporting. Uh, let's look at uh, offer reporting first. So when you click on the reporting, there are a few uh, sessions. The first session is the filter, right? So uh, here allowed you to filter on specific date range. And uh, you also have uh, per sets that you can choose from. And then when you click on add filter, you can filter on a specific offer advertiser or other things. And you can also choose what kind of metrics you would like to show in your reporting. And you can also uh, exclude a certain offer partner or other information that you don't want to show in this report and some other um, filtering options as well. So uh, for example, let's choose a random offer and you will be able to see it in the filter session. Once you have uh, filtered your reporting, um, you can click on run report and then the report will show um, in the detailed report session. So um, top level reporting is organized by offer partner um, combination. So if you click on the open button here, you will see who is running this offer and what are the statistics um, for this partner and this offer combination. Um, under the filter session is the summary. This is a quick summary on um, this specific offer and uh, uh, all the statistics that is related to this specific offer. And you can close that as well. We also have a performance graph. By default, it is collapsed, but you can open it to see a specific, uh, to see how this partner is performing or how partners are performing on this lab. Um, this, uh, when you open it, you can see how partners are performing on this level. When you, when you open it, you can see how this offer is performing. And in this case, there is no revenue and payout, but we see there are clicks. So you should be able to see how clicks are performing on this offer. So those are uh, the same across uh, different uh, top level reporting. And uh, um, when you go to the detail report, you can see uh, certain things are in blue or the blue color um, text that allow you can link out to a different session. So if I click on this one, I will go to this offer specifically. And if I click on the uh, number six, which is under clicks column, I will go to the click detail session. So you can see the um, more detailed information on this part. Next to the detailed report, you have the three vertical dots. And if you click on that, you can export this report in different formats. And you can also have a column customization. So for example, for you, impression is not important. You can just close it and events are important. You can have it uh, saved and click on apply. So next time when you go to this report, these columns will be there for you. And 
if you want to save this report, you can save it uh, under the three vertical dots on the top. And uh, once you have this saved, um, this uh, filter and this, uh, I can show you, you can give a name, Cindy test, and you can choose that. I want to run this specific reporting on today. So tomorrow when you open it, it will show the statistics of tomorrow and you can choose a specific time zone and also currency. So you can click on save. This report will be saved for you. And the next time you can just click on load and you select the name that you just saved and you can load this report. This is very helpful. If you have uh, um, multiple filters, it uh, helps you to save time and not to configure those filters every time that you check the report. We also have scheduled report. So you can have report scheduled and sent to you or your colleagues based on specific configuration. And uh, so you don't have to go to the platform to check the report but it will be sent to you automatically. Let's go back, sorry. And uh, um, we also have request report. So for specific report that you don't see it in, uh, in the dashboard due to, for example, click reporting, we can only allow you to see the past 14 days. And uh, um, we only display 1000 row within the UI. So you, if you want more information, you can also request a report. You can also copy link do this for this report and uh, uh, send to your colleagues as well. So they can open this, they can check the same report for you. you we also have the option to show API request of this specific report. And if you are using API to um, see the report, you can look how to um, do the API calls here. So this is the um, um, general information of a report. And it is the same for uh, pretty much all the report. You have these options there and you have uh, a column customization and you can export uh, tables as well and uh, you have the performance graph and detailed report. You can open um, um, partner offer combination or you can collapse it as well. And if you click on the three dots next to a specific uh, uh, row, you can link to view partner or you can open another flex reporting session. So um, I'm not going to go to every report, but uh, um, the offer report as explained, it's the offer performance expanded by partner. And partner of course is the partner performance expanded by offer, advertiser expanded by offer, smart links uh, expanded by offer. Now let's look at uh, um, detailed reporting. I think conversion is what you check most often. So I will take this as an example. So for detailed conversion report, um, the filter session is the same and uh, save load schedule request, copy link to report and show API requests are the same. You have a summary here. It is a less, uh, um, less than the Top level report, it shows you a total conversion and uh, approved invalid pending payout revenue and gross sales. And then it gives you every single conversion information, right? So in the filter part, it is also a little bit different. You can filter on event type. So either you want to see conversion, events or you want to see both and uh, uh, types you want to see click through view through or throttle and uh, um, for the 
export it's pretty much the same and color colon columns customization it's also the same what you can also do here is that uh, you can select um, conversions that you want to take actions on right so for this page i select 50 conversions or i can either approve or reject them or you can also select specific conversions that you would like to approve or reject you can also search a specific conversions by conversion ip or other information that is listed here um, we also allowed you to adjust the revenue and payout for specific conversion in the conversion report. If you click on the three vertical dots on the right side, you can adjust revenue payout or sales amount. You can also view conversion details, which is quite uh, uh, important. So you can see uh, a specific information and parameters and other information that related to this conversion. And you can also filter um, um, all conversions or approved. Let's check. Um, we don't have reject, but let's check a pending conversion. For example, I can set this pending conversion to approved. Um, then it will be approved and i can check the specific information on this conversion before i approve it right or i want to adjust this conversion before i approve it i can also um, adjust the information let's say yeah so there are different actions that you can do to a specific conversion, and you can also view flowchart and link out to other um, information. The flowchart is quite important. It shows you when the clicks come in, and then the click. Oh, sorry. When the clicks come in and the clicks land on the advertiser and there are conversion and events fired, right? So you can see this is the conversion and you can see that the conversion hasn't been fired from Everflow to your partner since it's a pending conversion. And uh, uh, you can view the details and then you can approve or reject this specific conversions. So the detailed reporting works the same for clicks um, as well. You can look at a specific clicks and all the information that is related to this specific click. So when you run the click reporting, you can see if you have more than 1,000 row, it will have this warning. And you can request a report immediately from this UI. Um, for all the other clicks that is not presented here. So you can see the click detail and you can view other information related to this click as well. That's the detailed reporting. And uh, um, we can look into other information. So um, after that, you have to click to conversion time report this is i will show let's see if there is an example this basically uh, the filter session is the same and uh, you have the summary graph as well um, but uh, on the detail of the report it will show you where does the conversion uh, after a click how long does the conversion happen after a click right so in this graph, you can see most conversion happens between 20 to 30 seconds after a click. And then um, this helps you to have an overview on how quickly conversion happens. And on the offer level, you can also set up a certain click to conversion time filtering. 
So if a click happens, uh, or if a conversion happens after 128 seconds, um, then you probably maybe that conversion is not legit, or if it happens too quickly, uh, it will not uh, be considered as a le legit conversions. So uh, partner prospect, it is uh, quite helpful when you want to troubleshoot uh, when partner tells you they don't see a conversion in ever in their uh, tracking platform. You can run a specific partner postback report and you can see uh, what is the payload and the uh, status of this postback and you can send this payload to your partner in this case to ask them to check if their postback is correct or if there is any other information is missing. The same thing for advertiser postback when you don't receive a conversion from your advertiser, you can ask, you can check if there is an advertiser postback fired. So by going to advertiser postback report to see if you can see a postback with the transaction ID. If not, then it's a good idea to reach out to your advertisers to ask them for a payload on what exactly was fired from their end to you. Mm -hmm. Partner referrals. So if you have a partner referral program, you can also see uh, what are the uh, referral status and how much do you need to pay this partner for the referrals that they brought, right? You can also make adjustments on reporting as well. Product to report, we will discuss that in the next part. It is related to e-commerce. Refund reporting is uh, you can, you should be able to view refund data from e-commerce platform and you can reject, uh, let's see, you can, check what are the refunds now in this case we don't and you can reject the disk these conversions uh, from this refund reporting conversion import um, there are a few ways to import conversions so sometimes uh, uh, your advertiser tells you that uh, uh, they didn't fire certain conversions and you would like to add those conversions in your Everflow account. You can add conversion manually with or without transaction ID. So if it's with transaction ID, then you would fill in the transaction ID. If not, uh, it's a lot simpler. You just uh, um, add an uh, offer partner and if there's other information that you want to add, you can fill in here. You can add in the UI up to 50 conversions. But if you have more conversions that you would like to upload, you can add them as CSV upload. We have a template in our help desk article on how to configure the CSV uh, format. And you can upload uh, CSV conversions as well that you can add as many as uh, you want. Uh, save and schedule. Uh, this is the same that you can also do uh, in specific report, but you can also do it in the specific session which called save and schedule. That's the reporting part in general. And uh, let's look at the analytics. Analytics is uh, uh, gives you more information if you want to study the data that you receive in Everflow and uh, you would like to further optimize your campaign based on this data. So we offer analytics part for you to look into your data uh, a little bit easy. Uh, what our client uses very often are dimensional report and for e-commerce client is also very important. It's just to give you a graph on um, how offer or partner or a specific combination of uh, uh, metrics works. 
So for example, if I want to look into this offer and this partner, I can just click on the offer and partner and my graph changes, right? So here are the chats um, include click conversion, payout, profit, and revenue. You can select up to five chats that you want to display within this UI and uh, you can see how they're performing. So in this case, I see how clicks are performing uh, um, today and uh, uh, revenue payout as well. And if you want to look into a specific country, you can click on United States and you and this graph is real time. It will display how uh, this offer, this partner and this country combination are performing. So it's just when you want to have a quick glance on your data, you don't have to export data and do it in an Excel sheet, right? You can look into Everflow directly. And uh, um, also the different dimensions, you can add up to five dimensions. Sometimes you want to check sub values, which is also quite important. And you can have those added as well. Then you can look into what sub value is performing better as well, right? So that is also very interesting to look at. That's the dimensional report uh, for e-commerce brand that they use very often. Uh, we also have a next one is flex report. Flex report allows you to do your own offer, um, like uh, top level offer, um, top level reporting configuration. So you can add up to 10 columns so here for example you can choose um, country and uh, you can add filter obviously so um, when i click on run report the detailed report will be filtered on offer, partner, and country combination. So it's all ag aggregated data, right? You can see on this offer, partner, and country combination, how many clicks and such. You can add up to uh, 10 columns. That's the flex report. Uh, Dynamic Nest is uh, similar to the top level report that we see. For example, offer partner combination or advertiser um, offer combination. <clears throat> In this case, you can choose your own combination, right? You can choose offer partner or offer category, for example, or offer country. That is also possible. So it just allowed you to choose your own top level reporting and the own combination that you would like to see. The cohort report offers insight into the performance life cycle of your traffic. It shows how long after a specific top level metrics, for example, click has occurred. Um, another metric, for example, conversion or event happens. So let's see. Yeah. So for example, uh, the conversion, most conversion happened after one day of a click, right? So this uh, uh, is what you use cohort, cohort report for. Uh, the redirect report provides insight into your fail traffic. So if you have a fail traffic set up uh, on offers, it allows you to See which offer sent fail traffics or fail clicks to a subsequential subsequent offer and how the click performed. So in this case, you will be able to see here is the original offer and here is uh, uh, the fail offer. So um, how the click is performing. The last part is the Brian's report. So 
uh, the variety report essentially allows you to easily compare the performance between two time periods based on data points such as offer partner or other information. So in this case, I select partner and offer. I give a um, today and uh, the previous date somewhere in September and I run a report. So it shows you for this partner and uh, um, this offer, QuickBook Online, what are the performance uh, between now and uh, the previous time, right? So you can see what are the uh, performance increase or decrease between uh, now and a specific date that you selected. And you can switch between uh, the percentage and also the numbers as well. So that's the Ryan's report. Um, I think that's basically it for today uh, regarding reporting and analytics. And if you have more questions, feel free to reach out uh, to us and uh, we are happy to provide you with more information. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.